Exciting. All the way to 26. We grow up so fast. Okay. So we are going to multiply mixed numbers. This is our objective. Usually the title is very nice because it tells you exactly what we're going to learn today. So we're going to learn how to multiply mixed numbers. Anyone know how to multiply mixed numbers? What's the rule? I'll give you a hint. It's a lot like dividing the rule for dividing fractions. How do you divide fractions? You. But before you say that, what do you say? Grace? Yeah, the correct answer is how do you divide fractions? You don't. Change it to a multiplication problem, right? Copy dot flop. How do you multiply mixed numbers? You don't. So what do you have to do first? Yes, mixed numbers and multiplication do not mix. <laughs> See what I did there? There's, there's mixed numbers and they don't mix. Okay. What? What's happening? She has a pumpkin. I have a pumpkin that has a pimple. <laughs> yeah. We should apologize to people who are watching this right now. We've got a pumpkin pimple, ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkin pimple. Do not pop that pimple. Don't pop the pumpkin pimple, please. Please don't pop the pumpkin pimple. Pip pimple. Please don't pop the pumpkin pimple. Okay. So, now some of you might be able to do this in your head. You're multiplying, you're not, so multiplying by two is just like, well, there's two threes, that's six, right? But it's not, there's two and a half threes. So what's half of a three? What's half of three? One and a half. So you have two threes, which is six, plus another half of three, so it would be seven and a half. That's confusing, right? Yeah. Let's not do it that way. How would you suggest we do it, Kiara? Oh, I thought you were asking for the answer. Oh, seven and a half, right? Okay, so we don't multiply mixed numbers. So let's change the mixed numbers to what? Improper fractions. Remember? So, and technically this, we can change this to an improper fraction, which is just changing a three to a fraction. How do you make a fraction out of three? Three over one. Three over one. How do you make an elephant out of a, uh, into a fraction? Elephant over one. Over one, that's right. Times, what is that? Uh, five. Five. Five over two. Five over two, okay. Now what? 15 over, 15 over 2. 15 over 2, which is 7 and a half, right? But either of those answers are acceptable. I like them both. I actually like the improper fractions more because once you start getting into algebra, the improper fractions are going to be so much better and easier to work with. They usually are, okay? So how do you multiply mixed numbers? You don't, that's right. Change them to improper fractions and then do it. So, I'm gonna do uh, 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 three more examples and then we'll be done for the day. So you'll have the rest of the day to work on your homework or your classwork. Cause I, you know, you guys get mad when I say, why do you want us to do homework in class? Don't you do homework at home? And I say, well, it's not homework and <laughs> you all, that's how you all sound to me as a teacher. I want you to do homework in class. Don't you do homework at home? That's what you sound like. <laughs> okay, maybe you don't sound like that exactly, but whatever. All right, three and two turns times one and one half. Go! Two turns. Um, that's gross. Kara's, Kara's got a pooping mouth, literally. Do you have an answer already, Grace? Yeah, it's 33 over 6. 33 over 6? Yeah, you must like do something wrong. 
I'm, you, I was really fast, so if you got that right, I would be surprised and a little annoyed if you got it right. Why? Kara, what'd you get? 11 over 2. 11 over 2, which is the same thing as 33 over 6. So you still got it right. Hunter, what'd you get? 11 over 2. Hunter got 11 over 2 as well. Me too. I got 11 over 2. All right, so what did you do first? What'd you do first, Kara? Um, I did the, like, I, it's basically like the denominator thing where three, three over three, three is like yeah. nine and then plus the extra right. two. Right, improper fraction three. that yeah. crap. And okay, then, 11 thirds And then times the same thing with the other thing. Three halves, and then do you see? So here's where your mathematical saliva glands that you start to drool a little bit. Like, I'm so excited to do something. What am I excited to do with my RPD? Yeah, I'm gonna kill numbers. Which numbers can I kill? Look at that. Oh, oh, why? I'm sorry, they're not, I'm, I'm nice to all numbers. It was just their time. It was their time to go. Okay, so that leaves us with just an 11 over two. Now, I could have gone across like Grace did, 33 over 6, but don't forget to reduce it. So far, so good? Yes, Kiara? You, I mean, like, you could go across and then, like, reduce. Yeah, you could do 33 over 6. But could you, like... Um, but what's easier to reduce, 3 and 3 or 33 over 6? 3 and 3. So it's much more enjoyable. But, like, could you split 11 and a half? Um, no, because, so nothing fractions. goes into that. I mean, you'll get the five and a half anyway, which is, which is the same mixed number. Yes? The answer is five and a half. All right, yeah. you're a mixed number guy, and I respect that. And I'm not going to judge you for preferring your answers in mixed number form. And, and you're, that's your freedom. I'm an improper fraction guy. We can, we can live together in the same, same state. Okay. Let's do, how about we just do one more example? Two more examples, one more example. All right, here's the last example, ready? I want you to do this and then compare your answer with someone next to you. Is that someone next to you or with the whole class? I'm hearing a lot of 22 over 3. Same. So it's 11. I'm only saying over 3. Hunter, you didn't get 22 over 3, did you? Because you did it right. What did you get? I got 7 and 1 third. Oh, so you did get 22 over 3. So sad. Anyone get the right answer? I heard a lot of 22 over 3, but I haven't heard the right answer. 22 over math. 22 over math. Wow. I guess you can't argue with that. I got it right. It is. Is it 11 over 6? That's right. It is 11 over 6. Oh, oh, it's okay, why? All right, let's change the improper first. Nine, what is that? 11 thirds divided by, what's that? 2 over 1. Okay, now, I tricked you, didn't I? Because that's a division problem, it's not a multiplication problem. Oh, I totally forgot to do that. Darn it. So now, how do we do? How do we divide fractions? You don't. You copied out flat. Okay. So this is eleven thirds dot one half, which is eleven six. Okay. So here's the deal. If you can multiply mixed numbers, you can certainly divide mixed numbers because division problems are just multiplication problems with the second guy flipped upside down, right? So if you can create a division problem, then you can create, then you can do the multiplication by just copy dot flopping, okay? Here's what a very common mistake is, is if you try to um, 
convert it into an improper fraction and flop the second fraction at the same time. That's too much going on in your head. Don't do that. So change them to improper fractions first and then copy that flop. I'm gonna do one more example just because I wanna make sure that you know that you know that I know that you know. Okay? Three and a third divided by two and a half. Three and a third divided by two and a half. Ready, go. I want to know that you know that I know that you know. You're annoying me. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I, can't. I can't focus. <laughs> what? Rule. Yes. Hunter, did you get an answer? Ten. Don't don't say it yet. Compare with Avery. Yeah, I already got an answer. Did you compare? Yes. And did they get the same answer? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys get the same answer? Okay, what'd you get, Kiara? Did you get the same answer as these guys? What about in the back? Did you guys get the same answer? No. <laughs> one and one zero. Zero? Is that how you say that fraction? Zero? Those are my favorite. What about you boys in the back? What'd you get? Was it a train wreck? Okay, what'd you get, Elijah? You haven't done it yet? Okay. All right, so Kiara, since um, you're going to pass out unless I call on you, uh, what'd you get? 25 over 30. What'd you guys get? It's three. 25 over three? Yes. With four over three. So that's a big difference. Are you changing your answer, Grace? No, I got 20 over 30. 20 over 15, which is the same as the, their four thirds. What's it? What do you have? Something against reducing? I just don't like reducing. All right. Whatever. Yes. I got one and one third. One third. That's right, because you're a mixed number kind of guy. Okay. All right. So, who wants to? I, can I? Can I just? Um, so, can I make you do this, Addy Harvey? Can I make you do this? So what do you do first? Okay. So what you did is you flipped that before you changed it in proper fraction? Yeah, technically. Thank you for saying that because that is a common mistake too where, where oh yeah, we copy dot flop. Don't we flip this? No, not until they're in fraction form. Right now they're in mixed number form. So put them into improper fraction form first. So how do you change this into an improper fraction? Nine. You can still answer if you want. Eddie. Okay, three times three plus one, right? What'd you get? So I got 10 over three for that. 10 over three divided by, what's this? Uh, I got two, uh, five over two. Five over two, and then see see I what what it. you're doing is you're flipping and yeah. and changing the improper at the same time, and that's okay. But nine times out of the ten, on ten you get it right. But every once in a while you change it to improper and flip it, and then your brain flips it again or something weird. So just don't don't think multiplication yet. Just one step at a time. Improper first. Now what do we do? So now you know the rest, Eddie. So what do you do now? Copy dot flop, right? Okay, now you can multiply it. So 10 thirds dot, instead of this, what am I writing? Two fifths. Two fifths, okay? Oh, it's 20. So now you can just multiply across like Grace does because she doesn't like reducing. <laughs> or you can see that, hey, the two and three don't reduce, but look at the five and 10. Two. And so you get four thirds. Or if you multiply it across, you get 20 over 15 and if you don't cross reduce, reduce and then you can reduce it from there. Is that wrong? Yeah. No, you can do it that way if you want, but what's easier to reduce? Five and 10? Five and 
or 20 over 15? Well, five and 10 is a little easier. And usually cross reducing is always easier reducing, but if you don't want to do it that way, you don't have to, okay? Just make sure your answer is reduced or I will give you half credit, Grace. Reduce. Guys, my name's on YouTube. I paint it. <laughs> okay. Grace Brower doesn't like to reduce. <laughs> Sorry, Jack Johnson. So Jack Johnson has a reduce, reuse, and recycle. You know that song? No. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Because he's a real big earthy guy. Anyway, that's all I got. Yes, Hunter? It's the person who doesn't reduce. And the person who only does yes, you guys. I got one. You guys. All right, but we can uh, cohabitate in this planet together because um, that's what we do. All right, any questions? Can I show you the things that I subscribe to your channel? Yes, you can. I'm gonna hit stop. So my finger is as big as my head right now. Hi. Any questions? Can I show you the things that I subscribe to your uh, channel? Yes, you can. I'm gonna hit stop. All right, any questions? Can I show you the things that I subscribe to your uh, channel? Yes, you can. I'm gonna hit stop. All right, any questions?